I thought this was a really uh, well done piece. I thought it had a very powerful message at the core of it in terms of people trying to um, engage in a process of self-awareness, of um, taking inventory and stock of what is going on in your life, what's happened to you. Some of the trauma that people have gone through, they, have not, they you know, really had nothing to do with it. They um, did not participate in it. It was done to them at a very young age, and it's very difficult. Um, I thought um, the piece really was good at hiding this, how difficult it is for a lot of people to deal with that kind of trauma as they get turned into adults because they haven't really manifested, they haven't really um, interrogated it when they were younger, and they have sort of um, gone older and let those things sort of uh, be an undercurrent within their lives that they haven't engaged with, and it's ended up creating a lot of problems, and I thought that there was a very interesting... Um, dynamic built around how do you um, help people who have um, gone down a disordered mental road or have gone of mental trauma as opposed to just sort of pushing them away and assuming that they're ruined. How do you uh, find a way to help them become better, uh, not just uh, to the previous version of themselves, but the, uh, the best version of themselves? And I thought the piece um, we used a lot of the personal stories of the subjects in that way. They really created a, a very inspirational message in terms of um, the work they put in and um, the process they have to go through to uh, grow past um, these things that have gone on in their lives that have really um, affected how they were able to create bonds or romantically, um, platonically, and uh, the terms of their work and their career and just um, how they're able to form their identity um, despite what's going on in their past. So I thought that the piece had a great message in terms of um, taking control of your life and, and your mental health. And I thought that it gave a lot of um, interesting options of how uh, the community of um, survivors can help each other and sort of uh, seeking out help is um, a great way to bond with other people that have gone through what you've gone through. It allows you to uh, sort of move through your own troubles in a way that's um, more effective and, and more um, sustainable over time. So I thought it was a well done piece and had a strong intent that I thought um, worked for a wide audience and is something that's relatable to all kinds of people. It gave us a very unique opportunity to take a close look into what the healing process looks like for different people in different situations uh, from beginning to end. We're never done healing, but you know, the end of, of their um, participation in this program. Um, I just, I, I commend everyone for allowing us into that experience with them. I know that that must have been incredibly vulnerable, sharing their lives and their hearts and their families with us. Um, I thought this film was, was inspiring and beautiful and heartbreaking and so real and raw and honest and vulnerable and um you can see the difference that it has had on these people's lives um throughout the journey but then also at the end where we kind of get a little bit of an update as to where they are now um and how much they were able to get um out of the process um i really also liked the addition of kind of having that like dramatic um interpretation uh scene for everybody where they kind of reenacted their trauma in in a, a creative way and then getting to see them come out the out the other side and like what that healing and growth process like looks like on the other side of it and I thought that that was a really cool element to kind of put like a, a really beautiful symbolic lens over such a difficult time and it just adds this creative element that I think really um, adds something special to the documentary. I feel like we have gotten to know quite a few well-rounded individuals coming from different backgrounds, sharing different yet similar lines of uh, disparity, trying to do whatever it takes to go uh, about their healing journey. We see them at different points and we kind of see them at their uh, shining light and at their darkest points. And it's really beautiful to be able to see that, connect with that. We need tangibility to know that we are not alone uh, on this journey. And what a beautiful way to kind of have not only the this honest and raw storytelling taking place and this medical research taking a foot and being able to witness that, but we also have the, these creative aspects that they take within the piece, uh, being able to see someone uh, drowning in the water or holding on to their inner child 
uh, so to speak. Uh, we get to see all of these different layers of creativity that each each person gets to express in their own way in the piece. I feel like I connected with each character, even the therapist herself, as she decides knowingly aware that she's going to be able to not fully have this moment where she's with her family as she's a part of this project. I thought that this is very relevant. I think uh, we need to continue normalizing mental health and showing, showcasing that it should be part of our everyday. And everybody wants to know how to thrive and find happiness. And if we can see that we're not alone and be able to discover that truth for ourselves, that's just a beautiful journey in itself. I just want to thank, you know, the filmmakers and everyone involved for letting us get a uh, you know, a firsthand view of these different traumas that all of these survivors have gone with and, and letting us in on that journey to healing. And that's what this piece is about, um, how how each of these individuals um, go through healing and what that journey looks like and where where it kind of um, ends and leaves off at the end of the piece and how they um, go through it and go on with the rest of their lives. I think it was a really great look at that and really inspiring and brave to see um, I think you do a great job of showing each of their stories and their narrative. And, and I think it was really interesting to see them act out these different, these different situations that they've been put through and to really see the full impact of that. Um, it, it was like a very, um, emotional piece and it draw this documentary draws a lot upon like the emotional aspect of it but it's also incredibly informative about the healing process and going through all of that um and it comes out being just a really really beautiful well put together piece there is no cure for a mental illness what there is is essentially learning to live with your mental illness. And that's what I think makes this documentary so important is the answer is not to find a way to make it go away forever because it won't. But what you can do is change your perspective on it. You can change how you view the mental illness and how it affects you. Uh, I think that's very important because uh, if you can learn how it works and how you can overcome those negative thoughts, those intrusive thoughts, those uh, impulses, those triggers, those anxieties, it makes living that much more bearable. And... I also liked that they were honest with the fact that, you know, even with this, it wasn't for everyone. Uh, for the hospital worker, his biggest issue is that you can give advice on all of the mental, internal uh, groundwork. But when you're in that environment, unfortunately, the only real solution is to remove yourself from that environment because you can have all the tools at your disposal, but being in that environment day in, day out, you're going to still have to deal with it. Uh, so I definitely, I definitely liked that they were still very transparent that even though he tried what everyone else tried, he felt like he still didn't get the same result. Uh, because that's one of the truths about therapy. Uh, sometimes certain therapists are, it doesn't work out. It's not compatible, but that doesn't mean that all therapists aren't compatible. Uh, it just means you might want a different approach because everyone's different and what might work for some people might not work for others. But at the end of the day, the biggest goal is changing that perception, changing that narrative on your outlook on everything because it makes that much of a difference. It was nice to see um, everybody and their stories and how those played out. I, the, the dramatic reenactment parts looked really good. Um, those were done really well. Um, 
you know, the, 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 the overall idea and premise of this was articulated well. I understood what was happening throughout. Um, and the overall production looked great. So everybody interviewed really nicely. It was nicely directed. It was well shot, edited, nice use of music. Um, again, just the ideas were, were uh, you know, just presented in a, in, in a very succinct and, and, uh, in a good way that it was easy to understand.